Hey guys, this is going to be a really quick video showing you how you can set up remote access to your Raspberry Pi. I'm going to show you SSH for some command line access as well as VNC, so please join me. Alright, so setting up remote access on a Raspberry Pi is very simple. I'm in my Raspberry Pi right now and all I need to do is pull up a terminal, which I have open here, and I'm just going to type in sudo raspi-config. And this is how you get into the main configuration tool of the Raspberry Pi. And under here, we're going to go down to number 5 for interfacing options. And then we're interested in option number 2 and option number 3. So option number 2 is SSH. So we're going to go in there and uh, just make sure it's enabled. I already have mine enabled, but you'll need to go in here and hit yes. And then uh, you can see that... SSH is enabled now and we're gonna go back into interfacing options now and then we're gonna enable VNC and all we need to do is hit yes to enable VNC and now the VNC server is activated on the Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi already comes with a VNC server installed on it so you don't need to do an app get install VNC or anything like that. You just need to make sure it's enabled and then uh, set up. So the next thing we're gonna do is test out SSH to make sure we can connect to it and then I'm gonna show you how you can finish the setup of VNC. Hey guys, before we SSH into our Raspberry Pi, I wanted to quickly show you how you can enable VNC and SSH using the GUI so just head on over to the top left and go over to Preferences, then Raspberry Pi Configuration. This will open up the GUI tool, head on over to Interfaces, and you can see SSH and VNC in there, and just make sure they're both enabled. Alright, so if you want to SSH into your Raspberry Pi, you're going to need to know the IP address. So you can just do that by doing a hostname dash capital I and this will return your IP address. You can see my IP address here is 10.1.1.28, so this is the IP address that I'm going to use to SSH into it. So let me hop into it right now. I'm gonna open up my PuTTY session here. All right, so I have PuTTY open here, and as you can see, I already have a session created for 10.1.1.28, so I'm just gonna double click it, and this is gonna bring me into it. And I'm going to put in the default credentials of Pi. And then the default password. And the default password is Raspberry if you haven't already changed it using the Raspi config or using the password utility. So as you can see, we're SSH'd into the Raspberry Pi. And we have access to the entire system through our SSH session. So now let's have a look at how we would enable VNC. So after you've enabled VNC, you should notice an icon at the top right corner here that says VNC. You can right click it and head on over to options and this is where your VNC configuration is. So there's two things you need to do here. You need to go under security and make sure the authentication is set to VNC password. There's other options like Unix password which will use the local user accounts. However, that requires a little more configuration, so we're just going to stick with the VNC password here. And then uh, we're going to head on over to Users and Permissions. And you're going to want to make sure that the standard user has all the permissions for anything that you want them to do. And you'll want to set a password here, so just click the Password button and put in a password, and this will be the password that you use for VNC. And once that's all done, you'll need to download a VNC client, which I'll show you right now. All right, so the VNC client that you're gonna to wanna to use is RealVNC. So just head on over to realvnc.com, select the operating system that you're gonna run the client from, and then download and install. And it's just a simple click through installation. So you can just keep all the defaults or change them if you want. I think I kept most of the defaults. I may have changed a few things here, but yeah, just go through the installation, install it, and then once you have it installed, go ahead and launch the client. All right, so I have the VNC viewer 
installed and uh, I have it up here so the first thing I'm going to do is put in the IP address of uh, my Raspberry Pi which I have right here and I'm going to connect to it and it's just going to ask me for the password let's put in the password here and I will connect and you can see that I am connected now and that's how easy it is to set up VNC on your Raspberry Pi I hope this video was helpful, and if you're looking for more tips and tricks for setting things up on your Raspberry Pi, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, please leave them below.